Hi, I'm Vicky. I'm with Condi, and I'm going to make a clock face. This is the clock face we're going to make, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that um, in this Corel Draw application. This would work in any version of Corel. The tools are the same. We're going to start off with making our first circle, and using the 8-inch disk here at Condi, um, we're going to go by that template. So I'm going to zoom in on my document. I'm going to grab my circle, hold my control key down, and drag across the page. With this locked, I can just type 8, press enter, and I have 8 for horizontal and vertical. These lines, um, these lines here, we're going to get rid of. So I'm going to show you how to create those. Um, we're going to create another circle, so I'm going to press Control D to duplicate the 8 inch circle. Only this circle is going to be a little smaller, 7.75. Press Enter. And the great thing about Corel is it finds the center for you if you move, if you just move this around. So we've got the center there. I'm going to create my crosshairs by clicking in the scale and dragging the lines to the center. That's going to help me later with my numbers. So I'm going to go ahead and create that now. And what we want to do now is press the square tool and hold the control key down and make a tiny square come over here, left click in the black to fill it, zoom in using my mouse key and place in this square inside or in between the two lines. Okay, and that's about center so we're good and now I'm ready to duplicate that these, these are my hour hands, okay? Not actually my hands, but where my hour hands or my numbers will go. So I need this. These are my markers for my hour. So I'm going to duplicate that. I'm going to press Control D. I'm going to place it over the top of my first square. And what I want to do now is create a center for my, for my radius. So I'm going to click one more time there that's going to give me this rotation ability and I'm going to grab I'm going to zoom out so you can see I'm going to put my crosshairs over the very center there and just so you can see that says center and we're going to drag that to the center of the clock face that creates the center of my radius okay and I'm going to go 30 degrees to the left on my angle of rotation and once I type my 30 up here I can press enter and that creates the, the uh, 30 degrees to the left and to duplicate that I'm going to press control D go all the way around so I have 12 of them now what I want to do is over here to my text tool and I'm going to create a I'm just going to type a L just to create my first line and I'm going to drag it I'm sorry I'm going to drag it here but I'm going to get closer so I can see okay and now I want to size it um, so that it fits perfectly between these two lines here. So again, I need to duplicate it because we're going to repeat what we did with the square. This time creating, we're only going to create more of these lines for the minute hand. So I'm going to do Control D. I'm going to zoom out so I can see it. 
and I'm going to place it right over the top of the first one just like I did with the square. Now I'm ready. I'm going to zoom out so that we can see. I'm going to click one time on the center. That gives me these rotation arrows. And now I am ready to, well first I want to, I'm sorry, first I want to drag this down to the center of my clock face. So get your crosshairs over the center and now we've created the center point for the lines and we're ready to uh, type in our six degrees here because I know that's going to be six if I divide that by 60. So we're going to make 60 lines all the way around the clock. Um, so I'm ready to press enter. And that creates my first one. And now I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to go all the way around the clock face. Zoom out so you can see what's going on a little better. And we're going to go all the way around until we get back up to the top again. So now we have our our hour blocks here and then we have our minutes. So what I want to do to kind of uh, fine tune this is what I can do is I can come back and delete these lines just over the, uh, the squares because I don't really need them. If you want to be precise you can leave them or delete them. I like to delete them. You just click on them and delete them. And I'm using my wheel on my mouse to zoom in and out. So uh, you're wondering how I'm zooming in and out, that's how I'm doing it. And finally this one. Okay, now I'm ready to uh, fit the page so I can see what's going on. Alright, so now I'm ready to uh, incorporate my numbers here. I've already typed up the numbers to save us some time. You can use any type of font you want. I chose these, but uh, now that I have them already typed, all I have to do using these crosshairs is I'm going to first uh, place these. I'm going to get a little closer here, and I'm just going to kind of place them in here so I have them all. Oops so I have them all uh, where I can zoom in and we can tweak it or fine tune it once I have everything closer together. So give me just a second, we'll get all these down here and then we can start. Perfecting it, should we say. Okay. And just so we know exactly where these go, we'll just get a little closer and we'll start placing these. Whoops. And when you mess up, the great thing about undoing something is Control Z. Or you can use your undo key here. Okay, and I kind of place it a little bit away from this line here. Whoops, I did it again. Control Z. Zoom out, and zoom back in. Oops, 
control Z. Zoom out, zoom back in. Oops, Control Z. Control Z is a great hotkey. It's an undo. So if you mess something up, Control Z is the answer. And then finally, 11. And there we have it. And we have created a clock face. And again, if you want to use this as a template here, what I would do at this point um, is I would probably delete these lines because we don't need them anymore. And then hold my left mouse button and drag this area because we need to group it. And once we've gotten everything, by dragging across, left click, and then group. That way, if you click something, the whole thing moves. You see how that works? And Control Z will move me back to the center. Okay, and now you can use this as a template for your clock faces. This is an 8 inch disc. However, this would work with a 12 inch. Uh, 5 inch, uh, however big uh, clock face or small that you want to make it, it would work if you uh, angle or rotate your lines and squares as you should. Again, my name is Vicki. I hope this has helped. And if you have any questions, feel free to call me. Condi is 1 800 826 6332. And I am Vicki, and my extension is 320. Again, as always, thank you for your time.